I recently bought this little Harbor Freight trailer. Four feet long by 40 and a half inches wide on the bed of it. And uh, I thought about getting the folding eight foot trailer, but the thing is I've got some other trailers. I've got a uh, car hauler trailer that's been in the family since the late 70s or early 80s. And uh, I've got a, I guess it's five feet wide by nine feet long trailer that, uh, utility trailer that I, um, I built a 7,000 pound axle and put it under it because I bought it cheap, used, and uh, the frame and everything is really heavy duty, but it was sitting on a 2,000 pound axle. So uh, I got rid of that and built a 7,000 pound axle for it because I used it with the 2,000 pound axle a couple of times, hauled a car with it and stuff like that, but it was really overloaded. So I wanted to, uh, since the frame was so heavy duty, I wanted to make it um, to where it would haul anything you could phys physically fit on it. But lately, I've been thinking I'd like to have a little trailer for stuff like this and also for uh, hauling a motorcycle. And I've watched some videos online about people doing just that with one of these. And uh, that's why I opted to get this one instead of the 8-foot folder because I already had something that was close to that but better, like I said. And so I didn't want to duplicate what I already had. And also, um, this one didn't have a uh, didn't have the paperwork with it, so they gave me a pretty good discount on it. So I got it uh, got it for a really good price, and they gave me the uh, email address to email the the Harbor Freight Trailer Division to get. Uh, get paperwork for it, you know, reissue of paperwork. So I did that, and uh, I did manage to, to get it registered and everything, no problem. So, win-win. <clears throat> I don't have the uh, tag on it right now, nor even the lights, but uh, I'll do that pretty soon. I'm just using it on the property right now. And as you can see, this tree fell across the road. And so I had to cut it up to get it out of my trail. And uh, I cut it into nice stove wood lengths. So I can split each one into three or four pieces of, of stove wood. So, of course, I'm hauling it with my Jeep. But, uh, so far it's doing okay, but yeah, it's, I'll have to put a chalk up here and I just kind of nailed these things together, cut them up real quick and, or didn't nail them, I used uh, drywall screws, but I threw those on there just so I could um, haul this firewood down to the house so I can split it when I get ready to, but uh, Anyway, I'm going to leave the, the center part here open and maybe have something I can drop down in there to close it when I need to. But uh, I'm planning on putting a, a motorcycle wheel chalk somewhere up here so that I can, uh, and maybe even an, an overhang section back here, so I can haul the TW200 or even the uh, DR650 when I want to because I've been on two camping trips recently moto camping trips where I just rode the motorcycle and carried minimal camping gear but uh, man that last one wore me out because it was a lot of miles and I rode a lot of miles of trails and stuff and uh, then when I got came off of the trail I still 
still had about 100 miles back home, or 100 and, actually I guess it's closer to 150. So that was rough riding back home after riding the, the trails a big part of the day. So I started thinking, and you know, I've got my, I camped in the little uh, French troop tent, pup tent, and that worked great, perfectly. But, uh, you know, I've got my uh, big canvas tent, 10 by 10, I think it is. And uh, I would like to be able to take it along, maybe even take a generator if I need it for anything, and take other camping gear, haul the motorcycle and extra gas and all that, and set up a good camp for uh, two or three days or more and uh, just ride during the day and camp at night and whenever I get ready to, to come back home and I'm all tired and everything I can just drive instead of having to pack everything back on the motorcycle which like I said is pretty minimal what I can even carry and uh, and then ride the motorcycle home, which I love riding, but it's a lot more tiresome than, uh, especially since I ride dual sport bikes, it's a lot more tiresome to ride two or three hundred miles than it is to drive the same distance. So anyway, that's, there it is. I haven't put the fenders on this, and I don't know if I even will, probably not because it's just extra weight and I've read some of the negative remarks about this are that the, the, tri the uh, fenders break off from vibration and I could beef them up and make it so they wouldn't fall off and I'll certainly do that if I ever put them on but I don't know if I'll even put them on it anyway minimalist trailer It's rated at 1,050 pounds or something like that. It's got 12 inch wheels on it. So I'm sure I could load it up to 1,500 pounds if I needed to. Probably even a ton. But uh, I really won't need to, most likely. <laughs>